Hello traders and welcome to Market Update. It's Stu Narpan here, founder of Master the Markets Elite Trades Conference and the Traders Open Day. So here we are on the 4th of December 2020. It's the first week of December. Can you believe it, guys? The year has flown by. Um, I know it's been a quite a strange year, isn't it? The pandemic and everything, lockdowns, no lockdowns, coming out of lockdowns, going back into it. But anyway, it's great on everyone who's persisted, determined through the lockdown and have come to the end of the year and going into 2021. Let's finish this year strong and especially for you guys who are, have been looking at the markets or looking to get into the markets. Great time with your new, align with your new year resolutions as well. Keep that thing that you've learned from this year, which is the persistence and determination, which is all also important in the markets as well. Now, today's topic, as we always do on our market update, is going to be on re-entries. Re-entries, okay? So let's take a look at this in terms of re-entries, okay? Right, now, what, firstly, you know, we always go through what are re-entries, isn't it? What are re-entries? So let's take a look at, let's say, um, what it actually means with the word re-entry. So for example, traders, as most of you know who have been trading before, you see, if you take a look at, you know, if you were to um, enter into a trade as it's coming down into a long position, let's say you entered here, next bar then takes you in. You see, at some point along the way, let's say you're trailing your stop loss below the low of each bar, and imagine that this bar here, you know, stops you out and then after that, it then zooms up again and then goes in your favor. Some of you have been trading before will understand this scenario. It's quite painful as well to watch it stop you out and then go further in your favor. And other people who have been trading, um, who have not been trading yet, I mean, this would be a new concept to you. Now, how uh, then do we re-enter back again? So this is what we call re-entry, so that we do not miss the big moves, isn't it? So once you've been stopped out, where do you re-enter? Okay, so that's called re-entries. That's the what, okay? Now, some of you may be asking, okay, but why do we need to re-enter? The why is mainly two reasons. I would say the first thing first, the why is mainly to reduce your drawdowns okay it's mainly to reduce your drawdowns that is the main thing why we re-enter and the other thing as you know over here as i've mentioned is to capture the moves to capture the moves so that you do not to capture the moves so that you do not miss them you do not miss them you see let me explain this right so in this scenario here if let's say you have been stopped out and you just made like let's say even let's say even if you had a small loss okay minus 0 0.2 percent let's say now if you do not re-enter then you miss this big move which might have given you eight percent return okay so that's why i'm saying we must we must have re-entries to capture the big moves so that you do not miss them to bring your whole equity curve up and also you see what this is doing when you capture the re-entries overall even if this is a first loss that you had when you add them up together then you end up with net profit of 7.8 percent okay so now we understand the why now Understanding this what and why, some of you may be asking now, oh, Tiru, but this is all well and good, but then how do we re-enter? Okay, how do we re-enter? The sad thing is that most people do not even pre-plan before they enter, and that is why sometimes I've heard from even professional traders and investors that sometimes they're not very clear in their mind of their exact plan to re-enter, they might even start doing dangerous things like, you know, uh, leveraging, um, uh, buying down and risking down, you know, as the market falls, they keep buying and buying and buying just to leverage, um, uh, to, to reduce the position down. You see, all anything that you do is all fine as long as you're always clear of your entry, uh, where you want to get out in terms of your risk and also in terms of your target, in terms of your profit as well. So your entry, your stop loss and your target. So in that sense, traders, so if you see at re-entries, how should we be re-entering? The pre-planning is very important. So you see for in this example here, I'll just leave you with this thought and do some 
um, homework on this as well is what you can do is if you want to re-enter there are two places where you can re-enter okay one as this one is stopped out you can either re-enter on the high of the bar okay that's re-entry one r1 let's say or at the highest point so far re-entry two all right now, of course, if it continues to go further down, but the top is not confirmed yet, according to whatever your quantification is. Over here, that's why for the clarity, we have our tops and bottoms quantified. So if we have that, then in that case, we can again, because we haven't been re-entered yet, so we can then re-enter on the high of this bar once again. Okay, we can follow it through. That's... Um, one way of re-entering some levels that you can look at okay so re-entry one again this will happen and then i would do re-entry two here so whichever one of course you can see re-entry one is a bit aggressive uh, re-entry two is a bit more conservative there are other other patterns that you can look at i'll let you all research um, on that as you go along now let's look at some practical examples over here so for example here on cable here right so you see so if i were to hide this around so in our cash in 4.0 strategy, as most of you know, as you are on the live trading room and all that, you can see that you enter on the close over here. The stop loss is on the low of that bar. Now, if you just did a very simple strategy, just like what we do on cash in, is that, you know, we keep trailing it for the low of every bar, isn't it? So for example here, so maybe let me just show you this. Okay. So let me just use a red line just for the trailing stop, okay? Right, so I just use the red line for the trailing stop. So if I were to just do that, you can see that then I just keep moving my um, stop loss for the low of every bar. Of course, we have a little bit more parameters than this. But let's say we just keep doing that very simple example here. You've entered on here, okay? So let me just put a blue line on there just to show you how we can re-enter when you're stopped out, okay? Right, so you can see, let me just put that in. All right, so I've done that now. So now you keep trailing it for the low of every bar. All right, so then you keep on trailing it for the low of this bar as well. Then you can see, now you're already in profit, as you can see that over here from this blue line to here, you've already trailed it, you've already made some profit. Now what you then do, traders, is that, you see now next one stops you out, right? So you can see this bar here stops you out, isn't it? So now you've come out of the position, okay, for at, at the um, a stop loss point of here for a little bit small profit, okay? Now imagine now if you didn't have a re-entry. Imagine now you didn't have a re-entry and you can see that the market then after that moved much, much more further and it's all the way up over there at the moment, isn't it? So, how do we then uh, re-enter this position? Okay, so as I mentioned, you can either put a re-entry for the high of this bar as buying pressure turns back up again, or you can put an entry for here and a stop loss for here, okay? So either one way that you can do, but remember that you have to also, once you have done this, not only is it important to just know your entry and your initial stop loss, also what is important for you to take your money out of the table is your exit, isn't it? Yeah, your target point. So the research must be done on all these three parts as well, okay? So even if you just did this, and even if you did an aggressive entry, um, you would have entered probably on this particular trade on this particular bar over here. Okay, that's what you would have done. And then you can do a simple trail again on the low of every um, bar. That's what you can do. Now, whatever it is, even though this trade might you know look uh, quite good and you might have earned much a, a better profit on this, but you see traders, that's not the important point. Remember in my previous video, if you go and check under blog videos, Think cumulative. You must see overall, does it improve re-entries in the way that you're going to re-enter? Does it improve your and reduce your drawdowns and improve your overall profitability? And is it robust? And is it sustainable for the future as well? Okay, okay, good. So I think I'll leave you guys with, with that thought over there. So basically on re-entries. So if you look at re-entries, basically what does it mean is 
uh, you're re-entering once you've been stopped out. That's what re-entry is. Why should you do it? So reduce your drawdowns and also to catch the moves that, you know, give you the biggest profits and bring your equity curve to another level. And how do you do that? I've just shown you different ways that you can do that in terms of the two levels that you can look into conservative and aggressive uh, ways. Okay, great. So now that we have covered this particular point, now let's go on to the market update and let's see how the markets are doing. Dollar Swiss, very, very strong downtrend, isn't it? It had a bit of accumulation here after the confirmation of the top. A bit of an accumulation here. You see a re-entry rule over here would have helped as well. Then you can see that you're looking even a simple trail just on the low of, um, on the high of every bar uh, would have captured this entire uh, big move that you're having. Open equity is dim diminishing to the downside I would look for reversals to happen for a bottom to be formed okay so that's on dollar Swiss dollar yen consolidation I wouldn't still touch this yet it's still not um, very clear where I want to go to cable open equity is diminishing to the upside I'll look for short um, positions over here euro dollar on the other hand you can see is a strong upward move very very clean move over here isn't it traders yeah so you see a re-entry over here on this uh, would definitely would have helped as well okay so on that particular move over there aussie dollar uh, you can see over here open equity is still um to the upside i'll still be a bit cautious on taking any long positions on basically on that um, Aussie dollar, so just um, see how that is. I'll also be looking at short positions here as well. K, uh, GBP yen, on the other hand, you can see over here that let's let's take a look at this. Um, okay, yeah, open equity still a little bit, definitely more to the upside. Just was only confirmed over here, so we'll see how that also uh, performs to the long run. Bitcoin, ah, yeah, you can see that um, a big bull move over here, very, very high bull move over here that we had. And you can see open equity is diminishing to the upside. Look at some short positions, maybe taking out the low of that point over there. Brent oil, um, yes, just confirmed today, open equity definitely to the upside. Short move over here, very persistent to the upside is what we can see over here. Gold, on the other hand, you can see um, open equity still to the upside, but be cautious because it's a downtrend at the moment. So even if I take this, maybe a bit more aggressive stops would be uh, necessary. Uh, FTSE, again, look, um, open equity to the upside as well, uptrend as well, so that's good. Dow Jones, open equity is diminishing. You can see quite a bit of consolidation, not much strength, even as it breaks the 30,000 point level. So be cautious on that. Level what I'll be looking at to maybe short is definitely this level over here of the primary level. Okay, and in terms of the S&P, very similar uh, move as well. Silver, on the other hand, you can see over here, downtrend. So I'll be looking at maybe take if you want to take with the trend, uh, open equity, um, once the open actually diminishes to the upside and take it towards the downside. So maybe, you know, just a low of every bar would help as well. And we, um, wheat, let's see, wheat uh, is, you can see downtrend. Yes, open equity more to the downside. Uh, definitely, you know, taking out the low of this point over here would definitely help towards more uh, downward strength, okay? All right, um, traders, that's on the market update. As we said, I mean, those of you beginners listening in, if this doesn't make sense at all, you know, a bit of the terminology is above your head, you know, always go and look at our free uh, five-part video series just to begin you off on the journey of Trader Starter Pack, www.traderstarterpack.com. You can find the links below this video as well. Intermediates, you can always look at our intermediate video series, which is called Trade Like a Master. Very, very useful. I recommend any intermediate trader to look at those video series as well, okay? Whatever it is, you know, it's always good to have a great understanding and a basic understanding, a general overview of the financial markets, which can be cross-transferred to any investment that you are doing. Let it be your property investor or even just on the financial markets as well. These two asset, uh, um, asset allocation, you know, to properties and financial markets um, definitely increases your passive cash flow income stream. Okay, it also increases your confidence of where the trend in the markets are going as well. Okay, good. Now, in terms of um, where how our performance has been for this um, week, so let's take a look at that. 
Okay, so in terms of our elite uh, room, uh, we've been uh, flat. There's been no orders at all. It's been pretty quiet in terms of the elite room, in terms of primaries and all. In terms of the live trading room, okay, live trading room, what we can see over here, the trades that, uh, the strategies that have given trades now going forward. Let's take a look. Cash in 4.0, TSL primary. Uh, let's take a look at this over here. So let me zoom in over here. Okay, good. So over here, as we are looking at that cash in 4.0 TSL primary, uh, loss of 0.55%. And cash in 4.0 one day exit so far has been a loss of minus 2.32% for this week. Uh, so overall, we are just down a little bit of minus 2.5%. Eight seven percent for this week. Okay, so that's pretty much that in terms of the um, performance for this uh, week in terms of both our trading floors, and um, going forward into next year, all I would just leave you guys with is that. You know, if you're a beginner, I mean, it'd be great just to start off and get the basic financial understanding going into next year because there'll be some great moves happening, especially with all this volatility and the pandemic situation and also on um, uh, the um, current, you know, um, forecast of where the markets are going as well. So definitely take advantage of the volatility. But for that, you must always have the knowledge and get trained well to know how to master the markets. OK, and also for intermediate traders as well, you know, go into next year strong, brush up on your knowledge, fill the knowledge gap and hang around with uh, professionals like ourselves and master the markets to also take your trading to the next level going into next year. All right. Okay, with that, we will conclude off. And as we always say, till the next time, stay disciplined, follow your trading plan, and keep trading like a master.